My name's John Kelsey, and I'm here to talk to you about the cables that are used to connect earthing devices from the earthing sheet, mat, patch, or band to the earthing socket or to the earthing rod. There are two types of connection cable. There is a straight cable, which is useful for sheets and mats, and there is a coiled cable which is more user-friendly when you're using patches and bands. There are 10 foot and 40 foot extension cables if you need to extend your cable, particularly when you're using the earthing rod. In order to use more than one device at a time, there are splitters that allow multiple connections. The splitter is particularly useful when you're using patches and bands where you may want to connect more than one to yourself at any one time. The earthing rod itself comes with 40 foot of cable. That cable is very long, it's very resilient. The connection cables for earthing products have been designed for ease of connection, for robustness in use, and in particular to account for safety considerations which are important when connecting to the mains. The cable associated with the earthing rod has a high degree of integrity. It is manufactured from braided stainless steel and is thus very resilient and tough. It will withstand the opening and closing of windows on it with no difficulties. Our own cable has been in place for three years and we regularly test. We did further tests by flexing the cable over a period of time in a vise. The cables used indoors are braided copper which is quite appropriate and conductive for their application stop. We will talk you through the products now and show you how they connect. One end of the cable has a socket and the earthing device itself, in this case a mouse pad, has a prong. So this is just a standard stud connection and to go on to the earthing device they just clip together. The other end has a prong, and the prong can connect either into one side of the splitter, as shown here, which then connects into an earthing socket, or it can connect directly into the earthing socket, or into the end of the connection that comes with the earthing rod. So the simplicity is there. There are two types of cable and earlier we mentioned that the straight cable is very good to use for sheets and mats and you can tuck this around the edge of the room. So there is also a coiled cord and the coiled cord is useful for connecting to bands and patches because you don't want to get tangled up and you may have more than one of them on your body. So the coil is stretchy and it means that it is far less inclined to become tangled than the straight cord. We've seen that the cables are easy to install, we've seen that they're robust and we also need to make sure that they are safe. So in the end of each cable is a a resistor of a hundred thousand ohms. That value has been chosen because it's a good compromise between safety and maintaining the effectiveness of the connection with the earth. We talk about this in the appendix if you need to understand more details of why this value is selected. So, in overview, the connection cable is designed to create a good balance between keeping you safe and ensuring that the earthing process is effective. The earthing rod comes with a very long cable, and there are extension cables available for the coiled cable and the straight cable that are used to connect to an earthing device. And the prong on these cables has been designed to connect either to the earthing rod or to an adapter for the mains earthing circuit. And adapters are available for all countries. Okay. 
having done research in engineering and having a doctorate in engineering, I'm always interested in why certain things are done in a certain way. So we've done some background study and some of our own tests which we'll share with you now. One of the most important things is that the cable is safe. The whole earthing system is safe to use. So the straight and the coiled cables contain a safety resistor. And this is to protect an, against an accidental event if mains voltage comes in contact with your earth wire. And the design conforms with the Institute of Electrical Engineering standards. The standards say that there is a threshold of feeling a tingling sensation at one milliamp current and 5 milliamps of current is accepted as a maximum harmless current. If we do the calculation according to Ohm's law at 230 volts and the 100,000 kilo ohm resistor, we have a calculated current of 2.3 milliamps. This is well below the maximum threshold of 5 milliamps as a harmless current. Please do not try this at home unless you are suitably familiar with safe electrical practice. This is a demonstration of the safety current that comes through the earthing system under a fault condition. The circuit here is similar to an electric radiator circuit. We have mains power going through a cable with a 100 kilo ohm resistor into a multimeter that is displaying the voltage in the UK of 250 volts and back to earth. We now have the meter connected on, on milliamp range and it is reading 2.6 milliamps which agrees with the calculations we presented. That's the cable on its own and we'll demonstrate that the same thing happens with both the earthing mat and the earthing sheet. So here is the same test with the earthing mat in the circuit and the reading is the same. The sheet behaves in exactly the same way. So the danger here comes when you are in contact with the surface and it also depends whether your body is earthed or not. If your body is earthed the current will flow through you to earth. At the moment, I am not earthed. I'm standing on insulated wooden boards. I'm going to touch the mat and nothing in me has fried, nor has my hair stood on end. The wiring in houses incorporates some safety circuits. The fault we've been explaining happens if the live somehow connects to the earth under a fault condition. When this happens, safety devices in the house wiring, like a residual current detector, will trip out at a low current value of around 30 milliamps in a few microseconds. So the possibility of this event even happening is extremely remote. If for some reason it does happen and you are also, and the residual current device fails and you are also touching another surface, then you might feel a slight tingle which will just make you let go of the surface. This is not a dangerous event. However, under normal circumstances, you are lying in bed. You are not earthed to anything apart from the earthing sheet or the earthing mat mechanism. In addition to safety, we want the whole earthing system to be effective. When we did some tests using high resistances, we found that they impeded the very subtle signals from the earth and they reduced its amplitude as well. We used a signal generator for these tests. When we used low resistances, a straight cable at 4 ohms and the cable is used in earthing sheets at 100,000 ohms, there was no signal modification. When we used higher resistances, the type of values that are used in the electrostatic industry or in ESD mats, at these higher values we had a considerable loss of amplitude and a lot of pattern distortion. If you use a very high resistor, 
you are actually removing a lot of the benefits that connection with the earth can have. So in summary, using a 100,000 ohm resistor ensures the safety of the earthing system, but it does not remove any benefits from contact with the earth. It is important not to change the cable that's used with earthing devices, and it is very, very important not to use an ordinary piece of cable with no safety resistor in it. We hope that this has been an interesting presentation, and if you would like some more information, then please do not hesitate to contact us. The 100 kilo ohm resistor is there for a very good safety purpose. It is important for your safety that you use only proprietary supplied cables with this resistor and that you do not replace this cable with an ordinary wire or a cable with no resistance. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it's been useful. For more information, for more videos, and to see what products are available, please do visit our website or call us at our UK offices.